Okay, let's just braid a little more, let's see, right through, and then do another loop, over, through, just to show how that goes, over, through. Okay, so now I'm going to braid divided again. I'm going to braid, uh, I'm going to make, what I'm going to do is make a, another, we had a loop at the top, let's make a loop at the bottom, that way you could attach one end to a key fob and one to your belt loop or something. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to taking all the loops by going through them. I'm taking them all straight across instead of across with a turn. Coming straight across there, through all, bringing it straight over with no turn. Through, through, through. Just take my, I might be going too fast, but take my word for it. All my other videos got way too long. We're already almost. Ah, we're almost out of time. Um, okay, so now I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn the same side to join it up. Just do a couple more, and that was the left side. I'm not, I don't want to join it into a square braid. I want to join, do a couple of joins like a um, flat braid again. Just a few. There we go. And um, I could then divide these up and kind of do little fringelets. I don't think we have time. Minutes. Okay, so here's our braid. I'm just going to let it hang at the bottom. I'm opening it. We already demoed that. We're opening it up, kind of pulling, tugging the outer edges open, giving it, making it look its best, and also opening it out all the way. Here's the second loop that we made near the bottom. Here's the first loop at the top. Nice little, let's see if I can turn the camera up and tip it down up there. Nice little braid. I haven't tied a knot at the bottom yet, but that's how you do a flat braid. And um, if you are using thinner yarn and pulling very tightly, you might not see this. You look at my pictures of in, in my tutorial on my blog. I show pictures of what the final version of a flat, a square, and what I call a three-quarter flat braid, how they should look. And so that way you can look at, compare your braid to them and see if you're if you're braiding always three quarter flat braids, if they come out the way I show for three quarter flat, it means you're pulling too hard when you tighten. And um, and your your braid instead of braiding as a square or maybe well, this one looked a little bit cupped. It didn't look completely like a square braid. It can look com almost completely like a square braid. If it is coming open as you're braiding and it would then be braiding kind of vertically, it'll get compressed together in the middle and you'll lose, of the central chevron in the middle, you will lose one of those uh, columns. And it makes a really, actually a kind of cool pattern and a differently shaped braid, kind of an oblong lozenge shape, a little thicker in the middle. I have pictures of it on my blog. Um, and what you want to do in that case is Force that braid to be in a C shape, you know, a cupped over a square shape. Fold it over, um, pull it out as much as you can. Right, right away, you know, you can test this out right in your first, you know, little half inch of braiding. And if it doesn't, if it seems to not be braiding in a cupped C shape, if it's come open, force it to be cupped. Co close it and jiggle it and squeeze it, and then try and make sure that when you're braiding it, it stays in that C sh cupped shape, like we just did. Okay. I think we're way over.